All right, my friends, so it is time for us to return something dynamic to the user and we are going to go ahead and return not only this text right here, but we are going to return our data inside our courses.json file. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, here inside my div, I'm going to remove the item and drop to a new line and I'm going to write my JSS, JSX code. So the first thing first for the image or let's leave the image for the uh, time being okay or you know what I'm gonna create a div okay and here I have to close this div right here okay and of course my code will be ugly but I'm gonna use the formatter to help me okay in this div I'm gonna give it a class or a class name because a class if you type uh, if you are using CSS then you probably know that we have we are going to use a class but a class it's a reserved keyword in JavaScript so we have a class I can create a class like this which usually it's a group of functions are like this okay special type of object however I'm done I'm not gonna confuse you with the classes but here it has to be class name not a class if you want to give any tag a class then you have to use the class name like this here I'm just gonna call it for example let's say image underscore underscore container Okay, this is a matter of naming. Feel free to choose your own names. In this div right here, I'm gonna create an image tag, okay? And first of all, I'm gonna specify the class to be, let's say image itself, or we can call it course image whatsoever. So course image can also be a good name right here. Okay, and for the source, we have to give it a source and here I'm going to specify a dynamic value. We are not going to deal with any URL because this course right here has all the information that we need. All right. So that's why here inside my equal, I'm going to add a process of killer prices. And here what I will do, I will type course dot image because this, if we speak, if we open our courses.json file, we can see the course will be this object right here. And we will, we are looking for this course image property. So make sure the course image property right here, it is the exact same name here. Okay, so I'm just gonna replace it because it is course image, not image. All right, and we have to add an alt. The alt property is the same. And here I'm just gonna set a dynamic value, which will be course dot title now once again ladies and gentlemen i am writing so fast here because i am assuming that you have an es6 uh, experience because i have created an es6 section and i highly encourage you to watch that specific section so as you can see ladies and gentlemen if you are wondering hey what why you have added this div right here the image container dev we are gonna see uh, that later on once we add some style because that will be very helpful to style our image and below our div right here I'm gonna add an h3 or whatever h3 and inside it I am just gonna say course which is this iterator dot title to show the title as well as the author I'm gonna add a span for the author maybe okay so course dot uh, author right and the last one will be the price span I'm gonna also add another span and it will be the course dot price, right? So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I have added all these uh, items. I'm gonna save, and here is the code formatter. And you can see that in this div right here, in the parent div that we are returning from this component, we are just looping through our array, our courses array using the map method. We have talked about this previously. And for each uh, map, for each, uh, let's say, uh, item, we are give it this name right here, the course name. And we are displaying some JSX to the user. Switch, switching back to the user, we can see we got the image, we got the title, we got the author, as well as the price for all these items. Very, very, very cool. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's look ugly now, but we are gonna fix the style issues in the next few videos for the time being I want to focus on the markup okay so this is how you can render something to the user using JSX so in the next video we are gonna take and uh, extract let's say this thing right here to a reusable component so our code will be cleaner 
So thank you so much guys and see you in the next one.